Now we have live team coverage of Nicole. Tamara Scott is live in Raleigh with the weather conditions now. Tamara, good afternoon. How does it look where you are? Good afternoon. Well, you guys know I've been following this uh, this storm all morning long. So all throughout the day, we've seen it go on and off, on and off. Right now, we are on US-1 heading north towards Franklin and in, in Granville counties. Now, take a look here what we're seeing. The roads out here are still very, very wet just because because these rain showers keep coming in on and off. Just a moment ago, it was pouring down rain and then it had stopped. So that's kind of what we're experiencing out here uh, right now at this hour. As you can see, the roads are still very wet. There's a lot of water coming off of these vehicles in front of us and I'm sure as well behind us as well. So that's what we're seeing out here. Most people out here are being very safe. We haven't seen anything like we saw this morning. We're very early. We saw a few accidents on the road. It's been very clear so far, but we're going to head still head this way and I'm sure we may encounter some more storms, but we'll keep you updated. Bye. All right. Thank you, Tamara. Now let's head to the Sand Hills for an update on the weather conditions now. Monique, join, Monique John joins us. Monique, where are you and what are you seeing? So we're out here on Hay Street in Fayetteville. Right now, the conditions are mild. Um, we're not, it's not raining. Folks are out and about uh, just enjoying their Veterans Day. Uh, but we did speak with the Cumberland County Emergency Services Director earlier. He told me that they've been following predictions on tropical depression of coal from the National Weather Service over the last few days. And they're expecting an impact similar to a springtime thun uh, thunderstorm with wind gusts at about 30 to 40 miles an hour, some weakened or dead trees, and there hasn't been any reported damage here in Cumberland County yet, but we are expecting another wave, maybe even a third one later today. Uh, and because of uh, the lack of damage so far, uh, Cumberland County uh, Emergency Services says that, uh, you know, they're really just taking precautions right now, um, but they're still really urging people to do what they can uh, to really prepare for uh, potential damage later on today. Again, that third wave could come at around 5 to 7 p.m. later today. Uh, and emergency services, they're really uh, clocking this radar at the moment to really find when, uh, the, when that potential next wave could come. So reporting live in Fayetteville, Monique John, ABC 11, I News. All right.